Guys, I'm not in the sheep barn. I'm in friggin' Tokyo. Mark and I have been away for, uh, it'll be just a, just a little bit over a week when we're all done this. We spent the first part of the week in Taipei, Taiwan, which was amazing. I have never been this far away from home, so this whole trip's been a little bit mind-blowing and a bit of a culture shock for me. I'm not a fish eater, number one. Number two, I'm absolutely useless with chopsticks. It's actually been now a little bit of a joke in our group. I'm that person at a restaurant that asks for the fork. We're actually here on a soybean trade mission. Mark got asked to join the delegation from Canada um, on, as, as a farmer, as a producer. And I'm so glad they do because it's one of these things that I wish more farmers had the opportunity to see what happens to their product after it leaves our farm gate. Because if we knew more of the business that, the transactions and the business that happens to the, to the end, I think we would look at things a bit differently in the business of things. And on behalf of farmers, I think it's very important for us to be over here, not me. I'm not, it's not important for me to be over here unless they want to know about sheep farming, which surprisingly they do. Um, it's a conversation starter. But Mark being here and the biggest question that we keep getting is why aren't you growing more non-GMO soybeans? That's really what they want over here because most of the stuff over here in, in Japan and Taiwan is very food grade oriented. So uh, tofu and, and milk, um, soy milk is, is huge commodities over here but they don't understand why that's just not what we grow so when mark gives them the reasons why as a farmer and tells them you know uh, given certain growing conditions and certain um, economic reasons they get it once you relate it back to to our business it's been really really interesting but for me i mean it's the culture over here uh the people are so oh hospitable and so friendly taiwan we visited a ton of we tried to do as much as we could I, we had a couple days well not really a couple days but we had a day kind of a travel day just to get our sea legs under us jet lag was mark struggled big time with jet lag the first day we went up the Tai taipei 101 tower it's an amazing um landmark i guess in taipei uh, the day we went up was really hazy and foggy, so the visibility was like meh. I should have just took a picture of the poster because then it was much prettier than the footage I got. It's pretty cool in the middle of the tower there's a big counterweight in the middle and, and a lot of high rises now are built for that if you're a little more prone to earthquakes, uh, which, which there was an earthquake our second night here actually. There was a 5.0 uh, earthquake just off the coast I guess our second night here, so that was interesting. The subway system, we did that like a champ. It was awesome and so well thought out and organized in the city so you can get around and do stuff easily. We saw a few uh, memorials. They were just amazing. We went through the Peace Park, uh, we went to their museum there. short period of time to do it all that I felt we were a little bit rushed but to do it justice but um, I wanted to see a uh, culture like their authentic culture over here so we also did a, a really cool hike in this uh, on this I think it's called elephant trail or something um, my calves oh my god they are it's all stairs 
and uh, yeah, they hurt. They hurt to touch. Like my skin hurts. I'm in so much pain. Oh, every time you think you're kind of physically fit, you're you're reminded quickly when you don't use muscles that you're really not. That was really cool. That was our last day in Taipei. We did that. didn't do any night markets and we were told that that was the thing to do in Taipei. Our problem was um, we're so backwards with our time where we were 13 hours ahead so by like three or four in the afternoon we wanted to go to bed and that screwed up our nightlife a little bit. Other than that it was a really awesome trip. I'm so grateful and thankful to to have been able to join him on this one. But I am looking forward to going home. We just flew into Tokyo last night and uh, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit homesick. I really, I have never been this far away from home, this far away from home, and I've never been away for this long. So I'm getting a little bit antsy. I am looking forward to seeing my kids and my puppy and my sheep. <sighs> and I miss YouTubing, so I thought I would just, today, just work on this and get some emails done and and uh, do some things that uh, ground me. So that's what I'm doing now. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.